Paula, it's Bree with Argo Iris Ranch. Tonight my daughter is helping me with a fun little project. I've had a few pots out in the back patio for way too long. I was going to plant them somewhere else and then I changed my mind and they just sat there. I really need to get them out of their tiny little pots and get them planted. So she's out there right now, so let's go see what she's up to. Which one are you planting right now? A purple bikini. Let me see. So pretty. And then you've already planted this pink one and then that one right there. So this right here is our version of the green stock. I got this on Amazon. It was less than $50. It did take a while to come in, but it was pretty cheap. It does come with this base right here and then the wheels. Uh, if you want to stack it six high. I had it six high and it was on that and unfortunately I came out one day and it had blown over. Half of it was laying over on the ground. So I decided just to do them three high and I've been pretty happy with it. I got some mint right here. I think that might be a mint as well. I'm not 100% positive. That's one of the cabbages we're about to plant. And a rosemary. A couple other plants right there and then I have a strawberry I forgot what that one was and then we have a tricolored sweet potato vine another cabbage the three petunias on the top this is another tricolored sweet potato vine that's a vinca I believe and then there's nothing down in that one but we've been pretty happy with it she likes planting flowers huh I definitely want the plant to be pointing out. Like, yeah, like tilt it, yeah, like that. These petunias had been sitting in the pots for a while and started not looking too good. I just pulled that one off. I'll shove it there so we can see what color it is. Our strawberry is starting to bloom. That's so pretty. I can't get it off. Let me see. There we go. Can you get that one? There you go. Okay, rough soil, is that what you said? And so break all that up so it's good plantable mm -hmm. soil again. Should be good, right? Yeah. Too much dirt? I gotta go check on dinner, but she's gonna continue doing this and then we'll show you what it looks like when she's completely done. Almost done. 
Marco's like, I want some of that. <laughs> we made some cornbread. We got some honey butter that we put on it. And then here we got some baked potatoes going. Hey you guys, so it's actually the next day. I forgot to come back out after dinner and show y'all the plants after they were all planted. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that for y'all now. So I kind of talked about it earlier, but I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth here. So I bought this stackable planter and it comes with six different tiers. And mine also came with this platform and you can set it on with the wheels. And then my daughter's gonna help me here. So these things don't just, they don't snap onto each other. The layers just sit on each other. She's gonna go ahead and pick one up so we can look at it. So they just set on, you can see the little grooves right here and they just sit down on here. And then if you look underneath here, there are holes on the bottom of each of the pockets and that's where the water drains out to drain onto them. And then, so you just kinda, you gotta line it up just like that and they sit on each other. Now I did have, like I said earlier, I did have them six high and I came out one day and they had fallen over the edge. Now our patio is not finished. That's on our list of things to do. So you guys probably wouldn't have an issue of it falling over the edge, but either way, y'all don't want them to fall over. So I think our issue was, was they were too dry. We hadn't watered them enough. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Um, Make sure you water them enough so they're heavy. I think there was, before I put the dirt in there, I think there is a hole all the way down the center. So if you wanted to put something in there, like a pole or something like that to help keep them stable, you might be able to do that. But I haven't had any issues with them being three high. So I just keep them like they are. Now, my daughter did point out that the second layer won't get watered as much as the bottom layer will because the bottom let me turn you around so you can see what I'm talking about. So the water is going to come out of here and drip onto there, but the water is not going to drip straight onto here. So I do, I don't actually just trust the whole watering from the top and working my way down. I actually water each individual little pot just because that makes me feel a little bit safer uh, making sure they get enough water. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.